Hello everyone, this is Up to Steam from the IO Live Steam Club. This video is just going to explain briefly how you can connect your IO Live Steam locomotive up to a compressed air supply so that you can run it on a rolling road without heat um, and without steam. This is my setup. Basically, we've got the rolling road with the, uh, in this case, Flying Scotsman there. Um, Compressor is a piston type compressor. This one's a Sparmax. They range from about 55, 60 pounds up to about 130 quid. What's handy about this one is it's got a moisture trap. It's got adjustable pressure, which you uh, adjust by the small knob down there. And we've also got a pressure gauge, which in our case is quite useful because it will tell us exactly what we're running at. The pressure is obviously put out through a hose into the top of the tank through an adapter which we have made bespoke for us in the OO Life Steam Club. These were available from the shop. Right, so there we are, locomotive all ready to go. I've got the compressor on a cloth just to keep the noise down a bit and to stop it jumping all over the place because it's a little bit lively. Switch at the back here, right, we'll fire her up. We'll watch the wheel start almost straight away and then I'll show you the pressure. Running steady. As you can see, we're running just over 2.2 bar. This is the setting they seem to run at, unless you adjust it, of course. But I found if you've adjusted them down too much on the safety valve, when you're running them on steam, you'll get the stalling of the wheels. We run very, very happily at this. So when they're running, you normally can't do this. This is very unusual. There you go. No burnt hands. <laughs> but the advantage is, if you want to set the timing by those screws, you can do so. Obviously, you have to stall the loco to make any adjustment, but it will continue to run. So we've got no oil, no water, no mess. Just a clean running apparatus. You can run it as long as you like. This particular compressor can run for about 40 minutes before you really need to give it a rest. Pretty much all the same, I suppose. So there we are. So if you're interested in trying this out, you will need an adapter. As I say, we supply these at the OO Live Steam Club Shop. And you'll need to buy yourself a compressor and a bit of hose. But the advantage quite good. What you can actually do, apart from set the timing, you can adjust the pressure by removing the cap from the pressure valve. You can adjust it almost continuously while it's running to get the pressure you so desire, which is obviously going to be shown on the back here. I'll now turn the unit off, the pressure will start to drop. And the low car is continuing to operate on the residual pressure very smoothly as you can see highly recommended and if you've either got a compressor or you can afford to get one I'd recommend so any more help you need just contact the OO Life Steam Club thank you very much bye